Hello, precious mamas and mamas to be. This is your host, Ilka B, with the Liberated Birth Movement. The first myth my vagina is going to tear. Yes, and that's actually not a myth because 90% of all women do tear while they have a baby. But it doesn't have to be that way. And I'll tell you the number one reason for that in just a second. But what I wanted to tell you as well is if you do tear when you have a baby, that can be pretty intense. It can be anything from a first degree, second degree, third degree tear, even a fourth degree. And that means your entire perineum, that part between your vagina and your butthole is going to rip open. And that is not just pretty painful as it sounds like, but it also can leave you with lifelong injuries and problems and discomfort down there and psychologically. So what is the one, the number one reason why women tear? Well, what I have found out in my own practice and experience and also talking with a lot of other birth workers and midwives is that most women tear when they are in the hospital. Why is that? Well, there's four main reasons why that happens. And it doesn't happen when you're in home, at the home. It does in rare occasions happen, and most of the time it's like little lacerations or first degree tears. So we're not going to say it never happens at home, but it's way easier to heal usually. It doesn't have to be stitched, and it can just heal naturally. So the four main reasons why women tear when they are in the hospital is first, number one is you feel rushed. You feel really just like on a timeline. You come into the hospital and most um, most policies and guidelines say first-time mamas, they don't have more than two hours to push before they start pushing pretty heavy um, interventions on you. And that can go all the way from Pitocin to speed up your labor to forceps or even cesarean. So if you're feeling um, rushed, pushing your baby out or trying to make this whole birth thing happen, um, before you're actually ready and you're feeling kind of scared as well, your entire body is going to tense up and your tissues are not going to relax. And you won't wait for that moment when fur comes in. Fur is the fetal ejection reflex, that moment when your body really know it's, knows it's ready and it pushes your baby out kind of by itself. If you don't wait for that and you try to make something happen that's not quite ready yet because you feel rushed, you are ending up being torn down there. Reason number two is you have an epidural. If you get an epidural, it means your entire lower body is going to be numb. So you don't really feel what's going on down there. So that means you can't really, um, you know, really navigate or guide your baby down the birth canal and that often then means you're tearing as well. Third big reason is that women in a hospital are not allowed to give birth however they want to give birth, right? If you're at home, most women that are having an undisturbed, peaceful birth, they actually give birth standing, or they're squatting, or they're on their hands and knees. And that, in most cases, never happens in the hospital because you're not allowed to. You're supposed to give birth on your back with your legs being pulled back. And that is not very advantageous for your positioning of your baby. It's very um, comfortable though for the doctor that's in front of you staring at your vagina. So that's another big reason you do not have the position that serves you and your baby in coming down. And the fourth reason is coach pushing. So coach pushing unfortunately does sometimes happen at home as well. That's why we're talking about this today so that you can talk with your provider and make clear that that doesn't happen. Coach pushing is when doctors or nurses or doulas or midwives tell a woman or yell at her when to push, how to push, when to breathe, when not to breathe, when to stop, where to push. Sometimes they even stick their fingers in your vagina while you're trying to push that baby out and tell you, can you feel that? That's where you gotta push. So imagine that. It's completely against all instincts of a birthing woman. And you will most likely not listen to your intuition and breathe your baby down the way it's supposed to, but you're being yelled at and your legs are being pushed back and to artificially open that hip space to let the baby down. That's another big reason why women tear. So let me tell you, how can you avoid tearing while you have a baby? First big reason, stay out of the hospital. Bring your butt home and have your baby at home. Second big reason, take your time. 
births are not meant to be on a timeline. Anything from one hour to 50 hours is in a normal range, okay? Babies are not supposed to come each in the same time. So take your time, be in a, in a place where you're supported and loved and you're not feeling rushed. Second is, don't get an epidural. If you can feel your entire body, even if it might be more intense, you have control over bringing your baby down the way that you do not tear. And believe me, women get an amazing cocktail of powerful hormones when they're undisturbed in their birthing process that will let them um, totally handle their, their intense feelings. Third is, um, Push your baby out in the way that you want to be, right? Be on your hands and knees, be in a handstand, be however the heck you want. But don't be on your back or let anyone else tell you how you're supposed to be. And the fourth thing is, um, don't let anyone tell you how you need to push. Listen truly to your own body, listen to that feeling of fetal ejection reflex, and you will be the guide and the um, in that whole experience and you will know how to push your baby out without tearing your vagina in shreds. Please follow the Liberated Birth Movement on Facebook or subscribe to our channel. If you have more questions how to apply these ideas to your pregnancy and birth, schedule a call and we'll get you clear on what you want and how to get it. meetme.so forward slash liberated birth meetme.so forward slash liberated birth. Always remember, birth belongs to women.